They're approaching the starter. Five runners walking in. Flag goes down and they're off for the Betway Holden Gold Cup, a limited handicap, class one, grade two, our feature race of the season here. On the run down to the first fence, Grenatine, the top weight, is the first to show under Harry Cobden. He lands in front by a good few lengths over the grey warlord in the centre. Towards the left is third time Lucky in black and white. On the right is Dolos, the stable mate of Grenatine, in the blue and pink, and a gap back to the big outsider, Us and Them, who trails them early on as they turn away from the stands for a complete circuit of Exeter in the Holden Gold Cup. Grenatine off top weight here, looking to give Paul Nichols an eighth win in this race. Striding out in front by a good few lengths as he heads towards the second fence. Skips over it to his stablemate Dolos in second, Warlord landing in third. And then behind those we have third time Lucky, was well back beforehand. At the next, Grenatine by a length. Dolos closing up though. Then Warlord ahead of third time Lucky, being ridden with restraint. And a gap back to us and them, who I think may have been pulled up as they head towards the next fence. Grenatine over it in front by a few lengths to Dolos. Now on the level, Grenatine begins to extend that lead down the far side. And indeed, us and them was pulled up before the third. So Grenatine leads now what f remain. Four runners left in the Holden Gold Cup. Harry Cobden looking for a treble. He's out in front by a good six or seven lengths now. He's pressed on ahead of Dolos in second place. The Grey Warlord in third under Brendan Powell. The last year's winning connections, Joe Tizard and Brendan, who won this last year with El Dorado Allen. And then the back marker of the four that remain, third time lucky, held up under Harry Skelton. But Grenatine is really pressing on here. The top weight has a six-length lead over Dolos who races in second place in the blue and pink under Lorcan Williams. Behind them is the grey warlord, and then third time lucky in the black and white, ridden patiently towards the next fence down the far side. Grenatine over in front to Dolos in second, third time lucky, a good jump on the inside of Warlord. As these four classy chasers make the journey towards the next fence. Grenatine in the pink with the purple spots, leading up by by the length, not so far ahead now as Dolos gets closer. Then third time lucky in Warlord. Just a bit slower than third time lucky over that fence. The leader though is still Grenatine. By two lengths to Dolos. Third time lucky in Warlord over that one. Grenatine certainly stood off that fence but lands in front. Dolos in second place to his outer. And then third time lucky in the grey Warlord at the next. Which comes up pretty quickly down the back. Grenatine again jumped it well to Dolos in second place. Third time lucky in third, and Warlord is the one who's just been ridden along at the back of the quartet, the grey, just comes off the bridle under Brendan Powell. So the jumping is done down the back straight. They're now preparing to turn for home in the Holden Gold Cup. Grenatine in front still by a length and a half to his stablemate Dolos in second. Third time lucky is still travelling well as he normally does in third. Warlord is the one who's struggling to go with them as the taps have been turned on. He's well behind. As they make the turn back towards home, they've got four left to jump. Grenatine in front still to Dolos in second. Third time Lucky now asked to get a bit closer, but he's still moving well for Harry Skelton as they head down towards the fourth from home. First in the straight for Grenatine, in front by a length to his stablemate Dolos. Third time Lucky, a mistake there. He's first of the race, but he got very, very low. Heading towards the third last, Grenatine is pressing on from Dolos in second. Third time lucky, that mistake has stopped him in his tracks. He now looks held, and then comes Warlord. Down towards the second last, the Nichols pair are in front. Grenatine, another good jump to Dolos in second. Third time lucky, he's got very tired. He's about to be pressed for third by Warlord as Grenatine and Harry Cobden heads down towards the last in the Holden Gold Cup. Grenatine, he jumps it well as he has all of the others. He's clear now from Dolos in second place, Warlord third. And then third time lucky, it's going to be an eighth win in the Hall and Gold Cup for Paul Nichols as Grenatine wins. And it's trebles on the day for Harry Cobden and Paul Nichols. Grenatine made all. He jumped them into the ground and he won the Hall and Gold Cup. A 1 2 for Nichols with Dolos in second, third warlord, and last of four, third time lucky. Harry Cobden joins me back here at Exeter after Grenatine's demolition job in the Holden Gold Cup off a big weight, off a high rating. Congratulations, Harry. That looked as though it might have been a lot of fun. Yeah, delighted with him. Um, obviously, jumped from fence to fence and we wanted to go a nice even gallop and that's what we did and turned in and had a little quick look round um, 
going to the fourth last and saw that we sort of had the manic behind me and I thought well, we've just got to get over the last four and um, you know he, 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 he's the most phenomenal horse he's got such a high cruise and speed and he jumps well and probably stays two and a half which, which is what you need in these um, two mile contests you know. Um, Paul had been on record before the race as saying he was a, a fitter and stronger horse than coming into this race 12 months ago. Had you ridden him much at home in the build-up? I, I, I probably scored him once um, or twice since he's come in this year, but we, we, we did take him away for a little gallop there, and um, he was yeah, he was pretty impressive, to be fair, against some other horses. So I knew um, fitness wasn't going to be an issue. That's why we made plenty of use of him today. He certainly lays down a marker now for the rest of the season off that rating in that type of race. Yeah, he, I mean, he's rock solid, isn't he? And he's still a relatively young horse as well, and it's just taken a bit of time to sort of mature, and he's just progressed into a really, really super horse now, isn't he? Um, you know, he's probably one of the best two-mile chasers in this country. It's just whether we can take on a few of those Irish ones across the water, <laughs> isn't it? But, um, uh, you know, we've just got to stay safe and sound now. We'll probably have a go at the Tingle Creek and... I'd love to go to Cheltenham in March and have a go at the champion chase. Well, you know, it's, assuming things go well in the build-up to that, it's got to be worth it, hasn't it, if he's a, if he's a stronger horse now? Yeah, be, you know, I, I'm, I'm never one that's afraid to get your horse beat, and Chris Giles is a great supporter of the yard. He, he'd be keen to go to Cheltenham as well, I should have thought, and he actually did run a phenomenal race around there um, two years ago, yeah, I think it was. It was. Ago, I, yeah. I, I rode him in, there in the champion chase, political bled, and I switched on him, and finished fourth and only beaten probably a length and a half or something like that so he's a better horse now than he was then so um you know i'm not saying he's going to go there and win or whatever but it is you know let's have a go isn't it yeah it's exciting um so yeah just you know lucky to have these horses and be able to ride them many congratulations thank you well back here at exeter in the aftermath of grenatine's i think we can call it breathtaking performance in the holden gold cup for well, many congratulations you said he was fitter and stronger this year boy you were right yeah he's just been working absolutely fantastically you know left anything he'd done before behind harry was very pleased with him the girl who rides him every day was pleased with him he looked fantastic and look, the horses are all running really really well so all good well and you know off 168 was a really really hard task i thought but he ran very well then was that the plan beforehand you'd take your stall out to make the running with him there was no pace in the race he needs a fast run race i said harry just make your own running and he'll hopefully keep galloping um you say that's quite a performance that is a hell of a performance yeah. off that sort of rating giving way to dolos i mean i imagine dolos was fit to go today yeah, well, dolos was ready for his life so it was a it was you know a, a fantastic performance I, I i don't know what mark was i forget what demon was when he won the hennessy back along but he must have been up there near 168 when he won the Hennessy, and that's a performance pretty close to that. That lays down the marker for the season. Tingle Creek next? Straight there. Yeah, he'll go straight there, God willing. And after that, how are you planning uh, it now? Let's go there. I mean, like, he, he might well be worth running in the champion chase. I expect if we did, we'd go from Sandown straight to Cheltenham because he's brilliant fresh, and then on to Sandown again. That might be the plan, but we'll see. Eighth win in the race. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.